What's up you guys? This is Steffi, aka In My Humble Opinion, and welcome back to another Fan Reaction Friday video. In this video, I am watching season two, episode four of Fleabag, episode title number 2.4. So let's get right into it. Oh, I love this. I didn't know that they like go priesthood garment shopping. <laughs> oh, great. I love that we're immediately starting off with these two. Wonderful. Why? Why what? His neck. Why? Are you going to do anything or A couple. His neck. Oh, that was their mom's funeral, I believe. Oh. Well, I think it's kind of special. Go, girl. Quake meeting. Quake meeting? The spirit moves you to speak. You have to stand up and share it with everyone. <laughs> the things we do for the people we love. <laughs> oh, God. Is she going to say something? So I don't think it's really affecting. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What am I going to say? What am I going to say? I sometimes worry... That I wouldn't be such a feminist if I had bigger tits. <laughs> I should probably open the cafe and see. Oh, come on, do it. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, it's a bit. What? It's a bit. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She's dying. Can I ask? Why so many guinea pigs? Oh, um, I just, um, this is an excellent one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Tell me about your stepmother-to-be. Any, uh, what's she like? She's the oh, worst. She's, uh, How did she meet your dad? Through my mother. Right. She's my mother's student at one point. Do <clears throat> your parents get on? No. Oh, changing the subject. He's, like, actually listening to her. Do you run this place on your own? No, I opened it with a friend. Oh cool, wait, so you run it together? No, she's... She... she what? She... Say it, say it, say it, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> He's a bit annoying, actually. What is that? What? That thing that you're doing, it's like you disappear. What? What are you not telling me? Nothing! Tell me what's going on under Nothing! There. Tell me, come on, no. tell me! Nothing! Ah, Nothing! Do do? Stop being so dirty! I'm not being churchy, I'm just trying to get to know me. I don't want that. Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. Oh, awkward. But he's gonna stay. Listen, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> what? No, no, I didn't mean. Oh, I, didn't... I know what you mean, Father. Thank you so much for your kindness. Oh, come on, I didn't, I didn't mean. Oh, I know, oh, to get oh, back no. to work. A customer's bound to turn up any minute. You should probably be getting back to God, don't you think? Oh, that's code for you need to get so out. Need to stay, don't make long enough. See, that's her thing. She likes physical intimacy, but not emotional intimacy. Maybe that's the question of the season. Is it possible for you to make a deep connection with someone without the physical aspect? Because truly, this friendship, at least, she has going on with the priest, that's the test for that kind of question. Because he can't, I mean, like, I don't know, I guess he could if he gets tempted, but I don't feel like he will. This is, I mean... Again, the writing, the writing, the writing. Putting that character in this kind of situation is like kind of the perfect way to test out that question. Uh oh. We always have these scenes of her kind of walking and she looks a bit haggard and it's just like cut, cut. I don't think she likes the fact that we're following her. I'm waiting for her to like snap at us for still being in the room with her, you know? What has happened? I have never well, I don't seen know. you. I just woke up so looking mad. amazing, and then everyone's gonna think about a fucking facial for my mother's funeral. Oh, what the hell? You look incredible. I'm trying to mess her up. <laughs> what I do with my hair is. Well. Sorry, girls, people are starting to arrive. Oh, wow, Thank she has you. long hair. To... Gosh, you look gorgeous. I love that. I'm like, so you would again. think people would say, God, you look you awful, but no, God, you look gorgeous. <laughs> you look wonderful. Oh my god. Hi, Pam. Hi. Gosh. Grief clearly agrees with you. Thank you, Jeremy. 
So this was during a period of time where she wasn't breaking the fourth wall. Or is she not breaking the fourth wall Stop because this is a flashback? Oh, shit, sorry. It's okay. Just, your funerals when you actually knew the person, they're so... I like how she has to comfort him right now. <laughs> like, okay. Hey, I don't know how you're waiting. Do something. <laughs> Micromanaging Claire. I feel like she just feels the need to always be doing something though. Like that's kind of probably how she's like coping with that grief by doing something. Her instincts were she, she just knew how to be fun, how to be kind. She just knew. Mm, that sounds a lot like busy. Fleabag. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'll leave you too. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> She's a bit annoying. She? See, the dad instinctively yeah, feels annoyed too. Oh. They look lovely, by the way. <laughs> there we go again. That's an interesting note. Like the kind of like this idea that she's like being objectified in her grief. I don't know if th even if that's like kind of a reach, but. I know what to do with it. With what? With all the love I have for her. I don't know where to put it now. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, boo. I'll have it. You have to give it to me. <laughs> it's gotta go somewhere. Oh my gosh. Damn. And then she lost her oh. too. Fuck! She's having like this like really deep emotional moment and then <laughs> okay, father. Oh fuck you calling me father like it doesn't turn you on just to say it. You're a nostalgic person. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you like Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Fucking love Winnie the Pooh. Same. I can't read a Winnie the Pooh quote without crying. Oh my god, same. Especially the one with like Winnie the Pooh and Piglet like walking away. <laughs> fuck. Yes. Piglet. Piglet. God help me. Whoa. Thank you. Oh my god, that's what he was reaching for? Do you know there was a man who wanted to be a saint so badly he castrated himself just to stop himself? You know. Whack. Is he like okay? He's like drinking quite a bit. Mr. Peace. And those who get in the way of it. Hmm. And those who get in the way of it. Sometimes I worry I'm only in it for the outfits. <laughs> what were you praying about? <laughs> you don't like answering questions, do you? Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Fuck, every time he like notices that she's breaking oh the fourth god. wall, I like <laughs> I'm like shook. You go in there. Oh, oh my god. Um, Confessionals? Is this a reconciliation? Oh my gosh. Oh god. Bless me, Father, for I have said. I'm not gonna say that. What? <laughs> Very good. It's been uh, enter days, years, months since my last confession. Mm -hmm. Then I said, that's okay, blah, 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 blah. So <laughs> tell me what's on your mind. Tell me your sins. <laughs> if you want. Why would I tell because you Because it will make you feel better. And because I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's in there with alcohol. Like, what a visual. I lied. Okay. To you. About? About the miscarriage. I'm just coming from my sister who actually had the miscarriage because her husband didn't know she was pregnant and it just... Oh, I love how they're just staying on her and we're not things. cutting to him. No, I want someone to tell me what to wear every morning. I want someone to tell me what to eat, what to like, what to hate, what to rage about, what to listen to, what band to like, what to buy tickets for, what to joke about, what not to joke about. I want someone to tell me what to believe in. Who to vote for, who to love, and how to tell them. Oh, what a monologue. I just think I want someone to tell me 
how to live my life by the liquor so far. I think I've been getting it wrong. Oh, God. And I know that's why people want people like you in their lives. Because you just tell them how to do it. You just tell them what to do and what they'll get out at the end of it. Even though I don't believe your bullshit. And I know that scientifically nothing I do makes any difference in the end anyway. I'm still scared. Why am I still scared? That's real. Just fucking tell me what to do, Father. Neil. What? Neil. Just Neil. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, nervous. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, God. What's going to happen? Oh my god, that was scary. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh shit! Oh lord, literally lord. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna do it. Are they gonna do it in the confessional? <laughs> I am shook. Oh my god. Oh no, is he gonna say fuck it or is he gonna keep going? Like, yikes. Oh, girl. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> All right, and some post show thoughts. Wow. <laughs> You know, it's so funny because I literally just recorded my video for episode three. In that video, I was saying like, you know, I don't think he's gonna fall into temptation. Wow, 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 I get it. You know, it was so funny too because in some of the comments for my previous Fleabag videos, I would see these comments that were like, Neil. And I was like, what the hell are these people talking about? Neil, Neil, what is that? I get it. What a pivotal moment. Not even just in this episode, but in the show. But before we get into that, I just want to say I do think it was interesting that she used this episode to give us an extended flashback to processing the initial grief of losing her mom. Like, I was really surprised that we stayed at the funeral of her mom for quite some time and to see kind of the dynamics between everyone back then. Honestly, I loved the beginning portion of this episode. This, like, like easy breezy kind of it felt like a date but it's not a date between the priest and fleabag i loved the the casual everydayness feel to it like i was saying earlier the fact that the priest notices when she breaks the fourth wall just goes to show how in tuned he is to her and how he really pays attention to her and observes her and listens to her like he is so in tuned with her and i don't think she's used to that so much so that when he tries to ask her genuine questions to really get to know her, she pushes him away. And I think it's because she's so scared of that emotional intimacy. Like she's definitely scared of emotional intimacy more and for her like physical intimacy is like a lot easier for her to get into than like the emotional inner workings of letting someone into who you are wholeheartedly, which is what he's trying to do, but she's not used to that. And then when we get to the very end of the episode, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm like as exciting as it was to like, oh my god, they're they're being like physically intimate and like if that picture had not fallen, like who knows how far things would have gotten. But there's a part of me that's kind of like, ooh, like is this like weird that in her 
being emotionally vulnerable, he kind of like was turned on by that in a way. I don't know. I don't know if it's like the context of the fact that like she was in confessional and like he's the priest still. At the end of the day, he's the priest. She's confessing her sins to the priest. And then uh, he tells her to kneel. And then you're kind of like, oh Lord, what's happening? As amazing as that moment was, I, I think it, the context of it still kind of makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But I do wonder if the fact that she was being so emotionally vulnerable with him, like finally, finally, she was being emotionally vulnerable with him. That kind of like turned him on in a way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like as someone who roots for these two people to get together and to be together despite the fact that he's a priest. I ship this wholeheartedly, but like I think the context of it just would have felt so, it felt so wrong, it felt so weird. Yeah, gosh, wow, what a moment. <laughs> what a moment I will never forget. It's just All right, and my question for you guys is, I wanna know how did you guys feel about that Neil moment? Like, were you like, fuck it, I don't care if this is happening during confessionals. I don't care if this is happening in the church. He's quite literally in his priest garments. Like, let's do it. Were you here for it? Were you kind of like me? Like, I'm into it, but also a little bit like, oh my God, this is so wrong. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I think it's like the context of the, the situation, just like, <laughs> just it's a bit unnerving if they would have done this like in his house or even in that side back room in the church like i don't think i would have been as like oh god about it but i think because it was during her confessional he told her to kneel we were literally in the church like i was just like oh my god jesus is watching so <laughs> yeah let me know your guys' thoughts on that and all right, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out. And comment down below your thoughts on this particular episode because I'm sure a lot of you have thoughts on this episode. Also just wanna plug my podcast. It's called Diva Dailies. It's a podcast where we deconstruct divas on film and TV. This past week, we just did Mariah Carey's Glitter. So if you're a fan of divas, definitely give it a listen. I feel like this is so up your alley. You can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, wherever you listen to podcasts, we should be there. All right. Well, as always, everything I said, which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!